So it is Tuesday and we are back with another video. Now, a lot of you were asking if I could explain in further detail how to use the Boss RC505 audio slash MIDI mode and then route the inputs and outputs in the computer so you can send your instruments to the looper pedal and then the looper pedal's audio to the laptop. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins, and this channel's all about live looping. I've made three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Boss RC505's USB modes once again. Now, if you haven't already, check out this video where I showed you how to set up the Boss RC505 to work in this particular way. Now, before we go any further with today's tutorial, I'd just like to address, I bought this brand new black t-shirt. I lost my good one, long story, but I accidentally bought myself a muscle fit and as you can clearly tell, I am not the target market for this type of t-shirt, but I'm gonna rock it anyways because I think I can pull it off despite what you guys might say in the comment section. So let's just jump straight to today's tutorial and head over to Ableton Live. So what I'm about to show you first is primarily for people who are running a Mac OS. Now you can achieve this on Windows, as I mentioned in my previous video, but you will need to download some additional drivers and things like that, and I don't think it is as stable and reliable. But we're gonna create an aggregated device. Now what an aggregated device is, it allows you to combine multiple USB devices into one virtual device. So our digital audio workstation can just see that because obviously when we use a DAW, we can only ever use one input and one output device. So by creating an aggregated device, we can use multiple USB devices, combine them together, and then we can select that in our DAW. So the first thing we're gonna do is create an aggregated device. So we've got a brand new one here. I'm first gonna select my audio interface, which is the UMC 1820, and then I'm gonna select the Boss RC505. Now the key thing to make a note of here is the numbers at the end. So clearly our audio interface is in brown and our Boss RC505 is in blue. Now the blue numbers at the end, our input channel is 11 and 12, and then our output channel is 13 and 14. Now this is the key thing to make a note of, is these numbers are at the end of all of the other numbers. So when we come to select them in Ableton Live, we don't need to remember what number they were, we just need to basically select the one right at the end because that's where we've placed our RC505. So we'll then save this device, so we'll call it Mixer and RC505. We'll then jump into Ableton Live. So in preferences, we'll we select our mixer and RC505, and then mixer and RC505. Then we're gonna make sure all of the input configs are selected, and same again for the output configs. Now they're selected, we're now gonna rename this track here to Boss RC505, and we shall make it black, so it, you know, it's like our RC505. We're then gonna make some audio tracks, so we'll call this one Guitar, we'll then call this one Keys, and then we'll call this one Vocals. These tracks are gonna be our instruments that are just gonna go through our standard audio interface through inputs one all the way through to input two and three. Now these are just gonna go straight to the master. So basically they're gonna go in to Ableton and then out of Ableton. But we're gonna delete these send features over here and we'll create a new one just to make it clear. And we're gonna call this Boss RC505 in. This is gonna allow us to route the audio from Ableton into the RC505 and then we can route the audio from the RC505 back into Ableton. So what we'll do is we'll make all of these on send A, actually send to the Boss RC505 in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when we come to select our inputs and outputs, we just need to select the bottom number because in our aggregate device, it showed our Boss RC505 was at the end of the chain, so it was 11 and 12 and 13 and 14. So all we need to select is whatever the bottom number is, just to make it dead easy, so we don't even need to remember the actual number. So we'll select that one, because it's at the bottom of the list, 
And then we'll change this to external out because obviously we want to route the audio from out of Ableton and then we're gonna route it back in. So we then just select 13 and 14. So then you just wanna record arm all of these and then set them to auto for monitoring and then you're pretty much ready to loop. Now I'll demonstrate this in action to prove that it works, but there's one more setting you might need to change on your Boss RC505 if you haven't already, and I'll show you that just after this. So I'm just gonna play a D note, and then I'll click record, and then record. As you can see, it's looping back. The final settings you just need to alter are in system settings, so we'll click system settings, scroll across, until we see this here, input line out. So we want to turn this from on to off. So this just means the only audio we're gonna hear from the Boss RC505 is the recorded loops, none of the input instruments because they're already playing through Ableton. And then we're gonna scroll across to the right and just wanna make sure the USB audio routing is loop in. That's all you need to make sure because obviously there's loads of options, sub, mix, line out. You wanna make sure that's on loop in and then we exit out and we don't need to save them because they are system settings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel's all about live loop and upload live loop tutorials, live loop performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next one.